Sarah, could you tell us what you're doing? Um, I'm painting a banner for the festival, for Morris's table. Every Sunday morning, as a religious, for religious practice, I would bury my shit for the week in a hole in the ground. Nobody ever complained. I never had any trouble with anybody saying, oh, you can't do that. It reminded me that um, I, was ex I was exercising what's called squatter's rights. That's what squatter's rights are all about. Leave my shit alone. <laughs> I shit here, you can shit over there. Today, the good people of Morris, Bill and Laurie, C-Squat, uh, and the whole Time's Up community and all of you here, we're here to inaugurate a new and beautiful space to recollect that history. The LEF Squat history and all the diverse radical history associated with the scene here which is a continuation of the radical history of this neighborhood, the Lower East Side, Lower East Side, uh, the place I am proud to call my home from the days when I was a kid living on 12th Street and Avenue D in the Jacob Reese Project. That's right, because we've got to keep actualizing the human right to a home through squatting some more. All the vacant houses sitting a few blocks down from those displaced by Sandy, all those vacant houses sitting around town are waiting for homeless families to move in. All those vacant condos, shiny floors, and smooth walls sitting there waiting. Waiting for what? To have their locks cracked, to be occupied. That's right, occupied. We took that word literally decades ago. So now, the 21st century squatters must be born. And like weeds spread unstoppable all over the country, in those dozens of shrinking cities where mass abandonment is threatened by mass demolition.